Juicy Apex Predator. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello and welcome if you are new as well. Really nice to have you with us. Okay, before I start the video, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for subscribing because I have actually hit 1,000 subscribers and I'm speechless. I can't believe it. Can't believe that a thousand people have actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. I didn't think that anyone would subscribe. I just started it for something fun to do. I thought people might find it helpful and now I have a thousand subscribers. I just keep thinking like imagine if all those people were in a room watching me film this video. How uncomfortable I'd feel. <laughs> Obviously so many people on YouTube have a much bigger following than that. I'm not saying like a thousand is loads but if you do think about it like that quite a few people so thank you so much I'm so happy that you seem to be enjoying this channel as well now is your chance I'm taking requests for videos so if anyone has any videos at all theatre related or non theatre related that you would like to see leave a comment down below and I will add it to my list and I will work through them because I want to make videos you want to see but anyway just wanted to get that out of the way and just say a massive thank you but yeah I'm at a thousand holy crud but today's video is something quite cool that I've wanted to make for a while. I'm going to be making uh, what's in my audition bag video. I just thought this would be a really fun, useful video for anyone that is hoping to start auditioning soon, anyone who is auditioning at the moment, or just anyone that's a bit nosy. <laughs> I thought I'd go through my audition bag and everything I take to a typical audition. I kind of aimed this video at just like a general day's audition where you're not really sure what you're going to be doing because obviously for cer certain auditions I don't take all this stuff so if I'm just going to do a scene or do a song I won't take this entire bag but I wanted to kind of cover all aspects so this is kind of aimed at say you're going to like an all day open audition where you don't know if you're going to be singing, dancing, what and I thought I'd aim it kind of at that then it's the most general and covers the most bases so without further ado I'm going to get into the video and show you what's in my audition bag. So I have a few different bags that I like to take with me to auditions, but the one that I keep going back to and is my most frequent audition bag is this. Now this is from Sweaty Betty and I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's a shoulder bag that looks something like this. Let me move back a bit. There you go. Da -da -da. It's a black shoulder bag. It's very large. My mum got it for me for Christmas maybe two years ago now. It's amazing. It's from Sweaty Betty. I think I've already said that, but I'll say it again. It's from Sweaty Betty and it's great. It's really large and really easy to carry and really easy to fit everything in. It's got a little front pocket, which is where I typically keep like my Oyster card and my headphones and my keys and things like that. And then it's got a big zip up pocket along the top. And then inside it's kind of just massive really and it's got a couple of like inside pockets as well. But then the cool thing about it is it's also got a bottom, <laughs> this is hard, it's also got a bottom pocket where you can put, ooh, where is it, where, <laughs> I'm really not good at this, where you can put your shoes, which is good because it keeps them separate and so you you know, your shoes don't get all over all your other stuff. So I'm going to work through it in some sort of order. I'm just going to kind of dip in and see what comes out and just kind of chat you through the things that I would typically take with me to an audition. Let's go. So front pocket's got a bit of a theme going on. I keep my Oyster card in the front pocket just so it's easy to get on and off of the tube. Look how cool this is though. My mum got me this for my birthday. It's a Harry Potter Oyster card holder. And you know in the fifth book where they go to Grimmauld Place, Sirius's house, and there's like that big um, family tree on the wall. It's that? And I just think it's really cool. I love that I'm just having like a random Harry Potter chat in the middle of my audition bag video, but you know. So yeah, there you go. A little bit of Harry, Harry Potter merch for you there. I have my keys as well, my house keys, which have a Gryffindor keyring on them, which my friend Dan got for me. So there you go. Okay, so that's front pocket. Oh wait. Oh yeah, and front pocket as well. I tend to keep one of my lipsticks, like whatever lipstick I'm typically whatever lipstick I'm typically wearing for that audition, just so that I can kind of touch it up throughout the day if I need to. The one that's currently in here is Honey Love, which is actually probably my favourite lipstick at the moment. It's a very nice matte uh, nude, kind of covers all bases, is good for any audition. On a side note, if you would like to see like an audition makeup video, let me know. feel like that could be something good or interesting to do. That just reminded me of it. Um, but yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that. Okay, let's move on to the middle compartment. First things first, hairspray. 
good for many uses. So I use this for my hair. But also, it's really good if your shoes are a little bit slippy on a slippy foot. A full. Spray a bit of this on the bottom of them, not too much, and it helps with the stickiness a little bit. So there you go, little tip for your hairspray. I typically go for this hairspray in particular, A, because it's really good, and also it reminds me of when I used to do dancing festivals when I was little. We, um, my mum always used to buy this hairspray, and my hair just used to be like rock hard and smell of this. So it just kind of reminds me of that, so I always gravitate towards it. It's the Weller Silver Silvicrin Classic. There you go. What else have we got in here? Oh, always, always is empty now, but I always take a bottle of water. It's so important to make sure you take water with you to every audition. I know that's really obvious, but you just don't want to get dehydrated. You want to feel at like your best energy-wise. If it's a long day, and maybe if you're waiting around for a while, you need to make sure that you take some sort of bottle with you. I really like this bottle. My mum gave this to me. This is from actually from Russia when she went there because my mum's a gymnastics coach. So she travels quite a lot and she got this from Russia and I really like it. What else we got? Oh, okay. Let's do dance shoes. I don't know whether to do a separate video on my favorite dance shoes and dance wear. Like, you know, like different, what are they called? Companies? Brands. <laughs> my favorite brand of shoe for each individual thing. I think I'll do that in a separate video because otherwise this video will be really, really long. But I also take with me this. <laughs> I thought it was gonna come up, but the string was really long, so that was really underwhelming. I was like, ta-da! Oh wait, no one can see. It's uh, this shoe bag, which I got from New York. Um, it's a Laduca shoe bag. And I keep all of my dance shoes that I take to auditions in here. So I always, always take, again, I'll go through all the brands in like a separate video, but I always take my character shoes and I always take my jazz shoes as well. Where are my ballet shoes? They're meant to be in here. I know where they're not in here because I'm going to ballet later, that's why. But my ballet shoes would typically be in here as well. So we've got heels, Jazz shoes, ballet shoes, in the bag. Then, I would also take my repertoire, which is my singing portfolio of all the songs that I use for auditions. So if you're going, say, to an open call and they say, you know, bring all of your dance clothes and something to sing, maybe they'll do a dance round and then a singing round, you typically end up taking a lot of stuff, but it's better to be safe than sorry, I would say. So I think it's just better to have a big bag like I've got, take everything you may need, because you may not need it, but you don't want to be caught out. So yeah, I would typically take my, just my entire rep folder, just because then you know you've got a song for every occasion. I'm also going to be doing a like repertoire, what songs to sing for auditions video, if you'd like to see that let me know. Yeah, so I take all my rep in this folder. This is a very good folder. It's got loads and loads of, what are they called? Plastic wallets. What else? Oh, Ooh, okay. I would typically go in my dance gear just because I think it's just easier to like have it all ready. Then if it's a dance call in the morning and then they say, oh, you might be singing or you know, you will be singing later on or doing a scene or whatever, I whip out this. <laughs> this is my audition dress. I wear it for every audition. I got this from Urban Outfitters, it was really lovely. When I went on for the first time in Showboat as one of my covers, um, some of my friends got me a voucher for Urban Outfitters and I bought this with it and I just think that's quite a nice like, it reminds me of it every time I wear it and I think it's quite a nice thing to have bought with that money from a show that I really loved and I now wear it for every audition. I don't know, I just think it's quite nice. But yeah, this is my audition dress, it's from Urban Outfitters and I just love it because I just think it's perfect for so many things. It's just a classic, dress that suits me can be good for so many things and then it's it's great as well to just like throw over a leotard and tights if they say okay finish the dancing now we're gonna sing so I can just like whip it on but I would recommend having like investing in just a nice dress that is kind of suitable for many things which I think this is and then you can just throw it in your bag and whip it out if you need to tampons because you never know and it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, another thing that I always take is MAC Fix Plus, which is looking quite sorry for itself and is very nearly run out. I need to get a new one. Um, this just like refreshes your makeup. So if you've been dancing with loads of makeup on and it goes, you know, it goes all cakey and horrible. <laughs> this, just a spritz of this will just refresh it. And I just think that's a nice thing to have to hand. Oh, it's got hair on it. If you are at an audition, very good. I'd highly recommend this. So I've got so much stuff in here. Tangle Teaser, which is really hairy. But a tangle teaser just for brushing the hair. Always good to have, always good to have to hand. Always take something to eat because you don't know if you're gonna be hanging around for 
ages, waiting. If you're at an open call especially, there's a lot of hanging around, there's a lot of queuing. You have to like register sometimes really early in the morning and then just wait around all day. Even with other auditions, there's a lot of waiting around. You just never know. So I think it's always better to take something with you, a little snack. I always take a banana normally, but I don't have any bananas, so I can't show you. And anyway, you all know what a banana looks like, don't you? But yeah, just like, like a cereal bar or something that's gonna give you like a little energy hit. I wouldn't say anything that's like a short burst of energy, something a bit more sustainable. Have a good breakfast before you go as well. Something like a little energy bar is a good shout. Then I have this little bag of dreams, which is just a bag of things, all necessary things. And this is just a little bag that I got from Boots in a set. It is so handy to take with me to auditions because it's just got everything in it that I may need. I'll chat you through a few of the things that are in it. I mean, you can see, but like I always just take this with me just because you just never know. And it's just got a, kind of a few essentials in it for emergencies or things you may need. So I've got a heck load of plasters in here. I am quite clumsy. Um, but also some Blistex plasters, which are so good if you get blisters, which you can sometimes get in auditions, you know, from your shoes rubbing or if you're wearing new shoes or something like that. But it's not worth being in pain. <laughs> Definitely would recommend taking a few of those along with you. I've got some cotton buds just for makeup mishaps. Some allergy tablets, even though I don't really get all allergies, but you never know. You might get an allergy right before an audition and not be able to see. I've got some ibuprofen just in case. I've got a spare bobble as well, because you don't want your bobble to snap. I've got some, what's that? What's it called? Bongella. Don't really know why, but if you've got an ulcer, that would help. Yeah, I've got some hair pins as well, just for any stray hairs. Always good to have. The one thing, and you can't really see it, the one thing in here that I would recommend taking above all else, a safety pin. Like, I cannot tell you the amount of times I've had wardrobe mishaps or things have gone slightly wrong and snapped, or like an elastic slap, slapped? An elastic snapped in a shoe, and I haven't had one of these to hand and it's been a disaster. So I now always take a safety pin with me just in case. Really good idea, I'd really recommend that. Oh, a gin gin. Love these, these little chewy ginger like sweets you can get from Holland and Barrett. They're just really nice if you've got a sore throat or if you're like gonna sing. It's good to take things like that as well. If you have been dancing and then they're like, now we're gonna sing and you're like, ah! If you, you know, need a bit of help with the throat in any way. Handy little bag of dreams. I think we're kind of nearing the end now. What else we got? Oh, bit of breath spray. Cause you know, nice to freshen up actually. Just nice in it. I really love this and it just tastes really yummy. I'm kind of addicted to it. Another thing I'd recommend taking if you are going to a lot of open auditions, things like that, even if you're going to closed auditions, is a CV and a headshot. Now I thought it'd be a bit cringe to show you mine, so I borrowed my sister's. I obviously wouldn't take this in my bag, but I'd take my headshot and CV in my in my bag. But I just thought I'd show you Courtney's because she's so pretty. So yeah, there's Courtney's headshot, ta -da! And then on the back, she's also got her CV. Really good idea to take one of these in your bag as well, just in case they don't have a copy there. And then they're like, oh, we need your CV and headshot. Um, just always better to be prepared and have everything to hand just in case. So there you go, headshot, CV. So then in this bottom compartment, I would typically keep any kind of outdoor shoes that I may be taking with me. Normally I would wear my trainers there, just to kind of save on space and they're comfy and I always wear trainers anyway. But you normally do need trainers for auditions. It's just handy to have them just in case as well. But if not, I would keep those in there or I would keep the shoes to go with the dress that I might potentially need to wear for my singing. So I've just got a pair of like, what are these called? Loafers? These are nice though, these are from Primark. And finally, I would take my makeup, my makeup bag just with things to kind of touch up my makeup throughout the day, a bit of blush, a bit of powder in here, cause you'd probably get quite shiny and sweaty from all the dancing. Just always take that just for like touch ups. And it's good to have to hand in case just all your makeup sweats off your face. Oh, I forgot one other thing. I would also typically take a towel just for when things get a bit sweaty, when you're dancing quite a lot, it's always good to have a towel to hand. I wouldn't take one this large ordinarily, but the towel that I usually take is in the wash. But it's quite small, it's just like a little kind of hand towel. It's from Muji, but I really like it. It's just the perfect size to throw in my bag. I would recommend taking a towel for dabbing down. So I think that is everything. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you did in the comment section below or if there's anything that you take to auditions that I haven't mentioned in this video that you would recommend taking. That would be really good to know. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it as well so that I know. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this every week. Let me know of any videos you would like to see in the future. I hope that you have a lovely rest of day and I'll see you again in my next video.